Mr. B as a teacher, he always makes it so that you can have fun while you're learning. He doesn't want us to focus on getting a good grade, it's more like show me what you learned. He knows a lot about history and he's nice, he's energetic. There's been times where I've like fallen behind in my grades and he's reached out personally to like make sure that everything's okay and I'm still completing my schoolwork and doing okay mentally. I think that teaching is an art and not a science. Teaching is seeing a kid struggle in class and just sit down and talk to him for a while and, and just picking up on a personal relationship like that. One girl called me a few years ago, the, the school dad, which I thought that's pretty cool. I can be the school dad. At least it wasn't grandpa yet. I think the students appreciate his genuineness and, and just authentic approach and the content comes secondary just to helping them fulfill whatever dreams or aspirations or goals they have for themselves. My two children that have had him so far really enjoy having him as a teacher and they are learning a lot in his classroom and I think he's giving them lessons that they can carry on for the rest of their lives which is important. The history trips are like one of the best things I've ever experienced because there's just such a good opportunity to get out and like learn in a very real environment. We split the country into five parts. The first year we followed the California Trail out to San Francisco essentially and then swung back through Arizona and up through Colorado. Then the next year we, we went to the Northeast so we picked up like 18 states out there. The third year of this particular cycle we went down through Kansas to New Mexico. We followed the Santa Fe Trail and then the fourth year we went north and we went up through Oregon and did the Oregon Trail and then we followed Lewis and Clark home. And then the last year we went to the south, um, picked off Mississippi, Alabama, Florida um, and then up the, up the coast to D.C. again. If you can, you can see 48 different states before you graduate high school, which is uh, pretty remarkable, I think. There's a wait list for chaperones to even go on those trips for, I don't know, I think it's like five years out. I get to go in 2023 and I think I signed up several years ago, so. <laughs> they come away with a much more well-rounded idea of America, and that's really all you can do as a teacher, is to try to get people to, uh, to see things in other people's lives. I think Mr. V deserves this award because he's more than a teacher. He's a friend to the students, he's an ally to the other teachers, and um, I think he just is a very good person all around. It's like 21 years of work actually kind of coming to fruition a little bit maybe. Um, you know, doing, I don't get paid for any of that stuff, you know, and, and to do stuff and find out that, well, somebody must like it. You know, somebody must recognize you. So that's, that's been really good.